Could it be that we've discovered Antarctica Pyramid and its Sphinx? Why? Same exact distance as Giza, Great Pyramid, the Khufu Pyramid and its Sphinx, and the Amphipolis Apex Pyramid and its Sphinx, and lying in the same direction, facing southeast. I was shocked when I found this, because uh, I've just uh, spotted something on uh, Google Earth, and I'm going to show you where it is and its coordinates. You can find it as well. And I was shocked when I also measured something covered with snow, but definitely looking like a longish thing. It wasn't a pyramid, but it looked longish, like a long body of a pyramid, of a sphinx. And measuring the distance from its apex to the sphinx, it was about 700, uh, 670 meters, just like the apex to the sphinx in Giza from the, the Khufu's Pyramid, the Great Pyramid, and just like the Amphipolis Pyramid at the uh, Amphipolis Tomb, from the apex of that to the, what is where the Sphinxes were, 670 meters exactly. In the same direction, southeast of the pyramid, okay? Let's go to the uh, Google Earth, you can see, because I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. I'm really shocked. I remembered it was 670 meters, and I measured it, and it's exactly 670 meters. So what is there? What is there? What is it that's exactly below that pyramid? Let's take a look together, because this must be constructed. It doesn't seem to be geological natural formation. I support my... Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Here we are. Okay. Now I don't know where the... I'm measuring it. It's 630 meters but I don't know where the face is. Perhaps it's around here. But this is it. This is what I'm talking about. This is the apex of the pyramid. And the coordinates are 79 9 degrees, 58 minutes, 45 seconds south. And 81 degrees, 57 minutes, 47 seconds west. Okay, let's take the 3D of this. Of course, you can't tell much, but let's, let's just take it around, and we'll stop it there, okay? There. Let's remember we're underneath the earth, so uh, our, our <laughs> uh, vantage of this uh, perhaps is totally different than what it would be on the north hemisphere, okay? So this thing here, let's measure that again. Let's measure it again in meters. From here, that's the apex. Definitely, um, that must be, this is 300 meters. This is uh, 400 meters. So it's about 400 meters, about twice as big as the uh, Khufu Pyramid. And um, the, uh, we remember that the Kasta Pyramid, uh, the Amphipolis Pyramid was about 600 meters. Uh, so this one is about um, two, -third, two thirds of the Casta, or twice as big as the Giza pyramid. So let's go from the apex of this to uh, we have to take the diagonal of this line here, and we don't know where it is, but let's say where is 700, 609, just around there, right around there. Okay, there we go. So, what do you have to say about that, or around here? What do we have to say about that? I'm just shocked. I am really shocked. So, could this be a sphinx? Look at it, it's not, I mean, basically it looks like it's a longish thingy. Um, if we pull out 
Do we have more pyramids around there? Yes, we do. We have this, just like we have in Egypt, next to the uh, Giza pyramid. This thing here is too blurred for us to see what's going on there. It's just too blurred. But remember what uh, the Emerald Tablets told us, written by Thoth the Atlantean? He says that uh, even before Atlantis sank, because it was taking thousands of years to sink, it wasn't just an overnight thing, a lot of people from Atlantis uh, escaped. Uh, he says that they went to, to various places around the world, and the first thing they did was build pyramids in all the continents. Now, he says he's credited, he should be credited for building the Giza Plateau pyramids. Now, what is this? What is this? This is... <laughs> that could not be... An, this is, of course, another pyramid there. This, I don't know what they've done, and we just can't see, make heads or tails of what that is because that's too blurry. But um, what can I tell you? That's it. And let's go, you want to go to Giza? Let's go to Giza. Let's go to Giza up here. Um, on this side. Here we are. Right there. And let's pan in there. Cairo. It's around Cairo. Wait a minute. Where's Giza? The outskirts of Cairo. Saqqara. Let's go get find Giza. Giza Plateau. Okay. Okay, there we are. Okay. And uh, going back north, pulling into 400 where we, we were before. Um, this is a Sphinx. So let's measure this in meters. It's about 200 meters, okay? It's about 200 meters. And the apex... Let's measure the apex, and let's go in a little bit more. Okay, the apex from the apex to here, it's anywhere between, well, depending, in the middle of it. It's about, okay, uh, 670 meters, okay? There we are. You have that as well, okay? So, um, should we go to the Casta? Let's go to the Casta. And uh, going to the Casta. Where's Casta? No, that's not what we want. Uh, here we are. Let's go to that one. So you can see the measurements of that one as well. In Greece. Where did it go? Casta tomb. Okay, let's go. Okay. There we are. This is the bay where Alexander the Great had his navy. Okay, this is where the lion was right on top of that. Lion, like a lion sphinx, okay? The lion was originally there. Let's pull out now. And you'll see the pyramid. Okay. This is the pyramid. This is it right here, 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 and here. Okay? Let's measure that now. And you can see that that's about 700, eight, uh, six, eight, uh, 700 meters. Okay? 700 meters. And uh, how far is it from its sphinx? Let's measure the apex around here. And there it's 650, 700, uh, 670 meters. Okay? You can see that they're all the same. So what is going on here? What is going on here? Something very strange is happening with all these pyramids and their sphinxes right next to them at 670 some odd meters, anywhere between 650 and 70, depending on where you put the little point on, on the sphinx. Um, the sphinx is right next to the great py the pyramids. And should we go back to, um, let's go back to Giza to see the um, 
the Giza Plateau pyramids, the little the pyramids next to Giza, just like the one we had in. Uh, okay, there we go. This is the one that we took, and we had we d we did. Well, that was the blurred out area of the uh, Google Map in Antarctica. So we don't know what was there, and of course, all these if there were any smaller pyramids around there, obviously hidden. Let's remember that. The Giza alignment pyramids, we also have similar, similar pyramids in Mexico and in China. The same exact um, alignments, they are having to do with Orion's belt. Uh, so something is very, very strange here, uh, having to do with pyramid plateaus and the sphinxes uh, from the pyramid, the distance between the, the main pyramid and the sphinx. Uh, and we found one, as we said before, in Antarctica. So please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Again, it's um, 79, 58, 52 South, 81, 57, 47 West in Antarctica. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support.